Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I will introduce you the multi-sensor shield. Let me first present you the outline of the presentation. I will give you or describe the features of the multi-sensor shield and then I will describe the pinout of this shield when you connect it to the Wemos D1R32 board. And then I will give you some details uh, circuits uh, that, that uh, you have in the shield and some examples that you can uh, use to extend uh, the possibilities of this shield with additional electronics. So let me first present you uh, the features. It has two push patterns, it has two fixed LEDs, it has one uh, RGB LED and one potentiometer. It also has a humidity and temperature sensor an analog temperature sensor and a light uh, sensor, an LDR. It also has an infrared uh, receiver, a buzzer and a connector uh, uh, in, uh, for I2C connections and two, uh, th sorry, three uh, uh, additional pins D7, D8 and A3 available for uh, any purpose. So this is the pinout of the, of the shield Okay, on the, on the left column you can see the name of the components or each of the components that I described. On the, on the column in the middle you have the corresponding pin that you, it's mapped onto the Wemos D1R32 board whenever you plug the shield on it. And then on the right column what you have is the name that you will see on the shield. Okay, so for instance the push button on the shield you will see D2, but this pin will be actually connected to IO26 on the ESP uh, chip. So here what I'm showing you is uh, detail circuits what you have on the board indeed. Okay, so the board it's just simply one single board with all the components all together, but uh, the equivalent circuit it's uh, the, the one I'm showing here. So the, uh, the two switches are connected to D2 and D3 inputs and whenever you push the button the, the logic level goes to zero. Then we have uh, the digital humidity temperature sensor which is connected to D4 and it's just directly connected as, as you can see here. Then we have the buzzer which is drive through a transistor and it's connected uh, to pin D5 and we can generate PWM signals on this pin in order to produce sounds. Then we have the red, uh, blue and green LED. They are, uh, it's just simply an LED which is connected to D9, D10 and D11 and it has obviously three uh, associated resistors to limit the current. Then we have two fixed color LEDs, uh, one is red and the other one is blue and they are connected to D12 and D13. Then we have a potentiometer which is connected to analog uh, zero and you can rotate it. And uh, then we have also a light sensor which is the LDR and it's connected to A1. And here we have the temperature sensor, the analog temperature sensor. It's connected to A2. Finally, with this board what we can do is to connect extra uh, components that we might be interested to in using it in our um, projects like for instance the OLED so we can connect it to the I2C connector directly by connecting to the, the, the display to pins SDA and SCL. Equivalently we can connect the uh, barometric uh, pre uh, sensor pressure which is also an I2C sensor, which means that we have to connect it also to, uh, on these lines. Just worth it to mention that these buses, we can connect several components on the, on the same bus line, so we can share these lines. Here we can see uh, an example of how to connect the AC light dimmer. So, for instance, we can use the pins available for, uh, for general purpose D7 and D8 and we can use the corresponding AC light dimmer circuitry, uh, LED driver and, uh, and the LED itself. This is just basically used to dim and regulate the intensity of light. And here what we can see is how to connect for instance a relay and we can connect it to A3. Remember that A3 is not specifically for analog, it's just simply an input 
uh, for, the, for the ESP processor which could be analog but could be also digital. For, so for instance here we can, we can control a relay for instance to activate or deactivate the fan. And finally uh, here we can use a moist sensor in which we can use actually the same pin for instance to read the analog measurement. Well, uh, in this presentation I just have introduced you the multi-sensor shield. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you in my next presentation.